Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna look at DOT, Binance, Ethereum, and Cardano to see which one is going to win the smart contract race. Now, this is not a conclusive answer. We will not have that answer for years to come. We are looking at the charts and comparing each of these cryptocurrencies against the other cryptocurrency. Now, I'm saying this very slowly because this is often a new idea for many people. They're used to trading these altcoins against just US dollar, maybe the altcoin versus Bitcoin. But today, I'm going to dive into each of these altcoins and compare them against each other. So this is going to be a running series. If you want to stay up to date with that, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below right here and the bell notification icon so that you can see this content come out. It is often changing as we've seen with the cryptocurrency coin market cap top 10 continue to change on an almost hourly basis. Most recently, we've seen Binance go absolutely nuts. So if you want to stay up to date, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you find value from the content, hit the like button, goes a long way to helping out the channel. All right, so we're gonna start off with a weekly chart. That's what I've got up here, little W. So if you wanna do that yourself, put it onto weekly. Now I'm going weekly and not hourly, not 15 minutes, not four hourly. This is a macro view. I'm not gonna talk about the micros today. We wanna to get a big picture look to try and figure out where each of these coins are at right now. So let's start with Cardano and go through each of those charts to basically see which one is the strongest at the moment. Cardano has broken through its high and we know that Cardano has a lot more data to it, but I'm using primarily the Binance data as well. So if that's a new idea to you and you wanna find the other one or the other chart that has more data, you just need to go to ADA then do what you're looking for, which is USD. And then we just have to scroll through each of these exchanges to find the exchange that has the most data. Generally, it's gonna be Bittrex, maybe Binance, but Binance came out later in 2017. So that's beside the point for today. That's just how you do it if you wanna find more of the data. We know that the high for Cardano is around $1.40, so we're coming up to that now. Currently, we are sitting above the dollar. Cardano versus Tether, USD above the dollar, we've broken through that. Hopefully we get a nice close above that this week. Got a couple of days to go until the end of the weekly close bar or candle, whichever you look at. Uh, one other quick note, I'm using white on my data here. So if you change over to candles, there's color, but essentially we're just looking for macro patterns. And unless you are trading using up days and down days, then there's no point. It's just gonna add more noise to it. And we wanna clear off the noise to make things a little more simple. So this is a strong sign for Cardano at the moment. We're up, but whether we'll see a pullback, we need to wait and see. So I wanna go and look at Cardano versus Ethereum next, which is obviously one of the biggest market caps. And if you've followed the channel for some time, you know we've been continuing to look at Cardano versus Ethereum. We're coming up to a major milestone, which is this triple, potentially four top at, uh, pattern at the moment. So in the past, Cardano has hit this level and dro uh, dropped back from it. Hit it again, drop back, hit it again, drop back. If we get a breakthrough of this resistance, this could be very big for Cardano to basically overtake Ethereum in terms of our gains. So not of a market cap, just of the gains. What we've seen in the past is Cardano do a nice little run. Maybe we get a double, double and a half of our Ethereum value, and then it fades off. But maybe this is the time that we get to break through. So what I've done here is set an alert. That's this little orange triangle on the side here. All you have to do is go over to the side, hit the plus button, and an alert will come up here. All right, so Cardano is looking strong. Well, it's coming up to a resistance on Ethereum. It's looking strong, it's looking good on its dollar value. And we know the dollar value has something to do with the Bitcoin value, because as Bitcoin goes up, then of course our dollar values go up. and previous yesterday's video we looked at cardano it has broken out of one of the trends against its bitcoin value and it's coming up to another resistance point against its bitcoin value so this is looking strong again well we want to see it break through to be on the confirming side of the strength all right but right now it's sitting underneath that and it could take days weeks at this level and just fade off again because we have had a very strong run over the last couple of months uh, six weeks or so 
So from here, we want to see the swing confirmed. We want to see it break through the all time high. I should say the swing is confirmed. We just want to see it break through the resistance point and that would give us another sign of strength. So it's setting up. Cardano versus BNB. Let's have a look at this. Now, we know Bit, uh, Binance has gotten, uh, has gone nuts over the last couple of weeks, which has then crushed every other altcoins value against it. So Binance has done extremely well against almost everything out there in our top uh, 10, 20 stocks that we're looking at. Cryptocurrencies, I should say. So from here, Cardano isn't looking as strong as Binance because we have seen it just tank. However, personally, I think Binance is probably coming to the end of its run at the moment unless it goes absolutely chaotic and goes at another run against Ethereum, goes to try and take out Ethereum. It's at a $40 billion market cap, Ethereum sitting above 200 billion. So it's got a little way to go. Nothing's out of the question. This is cryptocurrency. We don't know what's going to happen. But right now, uh, Cardano is a lot weaker against Binance. So in this case, Binance has the leading hand. With that said, I do think Binance is probably going to take some time off, like I just mentioned earlier. This is our resistance level up here at around 0 0.008 of a Binance coin, of a BNB. So Cardano versus BNB. It will cost us 0 0.008 BNB to buy one Cardano. So we want to find out which one is going to improve, which one is going to win, which one is going to give us the most gains essentially. That's why we want something to win at the end of the day because we want to be holding the bigger winner. And so what we're seeing here, I think is probably Binance just going on a little, probably weakening from here because it's already gone on such a massive run as we'll see in a sec. So that just means that it will become a little bit better for Cardano. I think it might do something like that or sit around here for a bit before it does a little move up. This one's not as conclusive as the last two. So Cardano is looking strong against Bitcoin and reasonably strong against Ethereum. We want to see it break out of that pattern. So let's move on to Binance now. This is going to be a straight up bar on all of these charts because we know Binance has gone absolutely nuts. Personally, I don't like to buy things when they've gone nuts. You know, I want to get the returns from the bottom and sell out somewhere near the top, like we all do. I know a lot of hodlers kind of get a bit disgruntled because they're bored in at these tops and they want to see something that's already done a 5,000% return do another 5,000% return, but the odds are heavily stacked against those noobs. So this is why I don't like to buy things after they're already pumped. Binance against Bitcoin, it's gone nuts. It has done from the bottom to the top a 530% move. Binance against Ethereum has done bottom to the top a 520% move. We'll have a look at the US dollar in a sec. But what I want to make a comment here, Binance was going strong against Ethereum throughout the late 2017 and into 2018. Midway through 2019, it found a hurdle and Ethereum has been outperforming Binance since mid-2019. And so all we've seen Binance do in the last three weeks is take out all of those losses. So the Binance losses against Ethereum, all the gains Ethereum made against it wiped out in two and a half, three weeks. So from this point, we normally see these charts just tend to drag down a little bit from this point. You know, do a bit of that, maybe have a little spike in between, do that. That's just from history. It could just shoot straight up and Binance takes over Ethereum. We don't know for sure. But just looking at history, probabilities, it's done a massive run already. I think Binance will probably cool off and that gives us a chance to look at the other cryptos, which we're getting into in a sec. Binance USD. This is the most massive chart I've seen in a long time especially for a very high market cap crypto already. This is the 5,000% move. Bottom to the absolute top, 5,300% move. Now, I don't know what people are thinking if they're buying the tops of Binance at the moment. If they're looking for another big move like that, you will have to go extremely far up and probably overtake Bitcoin's value to get the 5,000%. Just for a game, 5,000% 5 
I can't even see it on this chart here. And this is a $1,900 Binance. You're only going to get 500%, one tenth of what it's done since March 2020. That is huge. All right. So 500% may be able to get there over some time, but the odds are stacked against us at this point. So Binance doing its massive run, maybe it's going to have some time to cool off. Maybe it will, it'll double from here. Who knows? Doubling is too high risk for what we're looking for, uh, for being so far away from where it's already come from and for the token then to just basically go from 300 to 600 doubling we're looking for better than a high risk there's the risk to a low reward we want to increase we want something down here we want a low risk and a high reward that's what crypto is about that's why we come here oh, at least that's what a lot of new new people don't understand and that's what the oldies are here for so this is Binance against the US dollar. It's well and truly up there. Let's move across to Cardano versus DOT. That was the last one we had to have a look at on the Cardano pairings. And there isn't a chart on TradingView for that. So I have to go across to CoinGecko and look up Cardano and then drop it down here and look up DOT. That's how I do it. Click DOT. And then I'm going to see the chart down here. This is pretty simple. Max we've got here. Cardano is looking like a, a winner against DOT as well. So the bias is to the upside, but we are still in a trading range of between 0 0.02 and about 0 0.04. So that's how much DOT you would need to buy Cardano. So previously you only needed 0 0.02 DOT. Now you need 0 0.04 DOT, which means DOT is losing value to Cardano. So even that's looking pretty good. So Cardano is up so far the best. Uh, let's have a look at DOT Binance. Now we do have a lot of charts to go through and you've already seen we've gone through about two, four, six. This is about our eighth or ninth chart at the moment. We've got a few more to go down here with Ethereum and the rest of DOT. So stick with us. We'll come up with an idea at the end of all of this. DOT versus Binance, it has struggled. We know that. We know Binance has gone crazy over the last few weeks. It's probably going to cool off. So I, I suspect we will get something like that. Maybe some moves, you know, like this on the way up. And hopefully DOT can then take out these old highs again, move its way up, test, and we start that move again. This is kind of like what we saw with COVID in 2020 in March. It was just like a black swan event out of nowhere. It wipes out all of the stops and then the market moves on again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's have a look at the chart. This is the March COVID crash, takes out the lows, and then continues on with the trend, wipes out the weekends, continues on with the trend. Dot BNB potentially looks similar to that to me. So it's it's got some similarities. It's nowhere near exactly the same, but I've got my alert set here in case it continues to fall. And then another alert just above where the resistance was previously before it cra uh, broke through, found support and took off again. So this is what I'm looking for with Dot and Binance. I don't think it's the strongest chart, but I think the Binance trend has probably ended just for now. It can continue later on, but I think the rest of these smart contracts have to play some catch up and Binance is probably going to cool off for a little bit. So that leads me over to DOT. Bitcoin. DOT has just recently broken out. This was the level somewhere around here now. And just over the last four or five hours, it's given a cleaner breakout. We're still trending up. We're still doing measured moves up, which is looking good, but it's broken out of the recent highs. And overall, it looks like I think we're going to see another strong move in DOT, which is unbelievable considering how high it, is, it already is in its US dollar value and how far it's moved. On the daily, we've broken out of this accumulation zone back a couple of months ago now, retested around that seven or eight dollars, another beautiful entry point just there that we were buying on the channel. You remember that when we were on the live streams back in January as well and we've just taken off. So I think we may see even further upside to DOT. I can't believe it. It's already crazy 10X, but I think we'll continue to go further with DOT as well. Leading us into one of our last ones to look at, and this is Ethereum Bitcoin. Ethereum Bitcoin looks like it's going to outperform Bitcoin for a part of this cycle. So we're looking at our risk as well. Ethereum looks like the safest bet out of any of these cryptos against Bitcoin to increase our Bitcoin holdings. If we want to go a little bit riskier, then there is Cardano. Cardano seems like it is the better pick. So 
just to wrap up with this, we're looking at Ethereum Bitcoin. We see an inverse head and shoulders. It's broken above the neckline. It's come back and it's testing it right now. I think we're going to see a little more upside to Ethereum. So if we want to increase our Bitcoin holdings and most likely our USD holdings, because Bitcoin, we assume, is going to continue up in this trend, Ethereum is the safest bet, safest being that it's the highest market cap cryptocurrency and has been around the longest out of any of these. Then it looks like Cardano. Cardano looks like it is outpacing everything at the moment and is sitting at some important resistance levels against Bitcoin, against Ethereum, against DOT, which we can see here. There are some tops coming up and we're looking for it to break through and go beyond that 0.04 of, the, of DOT. And then against US dollar, it's got another level to come up against, which is the dollar 40. So if we can get past those, hold above all those levels, then Cardano seems like the next safest bet. With that in mind, DOT, I think, may outperform Cardano because we are so new in this space and it doesn't have all that prior resistance as well. I still think Cardano would be absolutely amazing. With DOT, it's broken out of its Bitcoin uh, highs, which is a great sign. That's definitely what we want to see. So DOT's looking really good too. DOT against Ethereum, massive breakout. If I had to gamble on any of these, I would probably say Ethereum, if I want to take it as a least amount of risk at this point in time. Cardano, only slightly over DOT, only because we see Cardano on the DOT chart, which isn't the, a great chart to be comparing to, but this is all I have to work with then yes, Cardano, if we can continue to move up, great. If this happens to trend down, then DOT is going to be the winner out of these, uh, out of all of these pairs. Just looking at Binance before we wrap up, Binance has done extremely well, but because it has shot off to the moon, we want to find stocks or cryptos that haven't shot off to the moon yet. And Binance has done that. So I don't think we're going to see the same returns unless we get some sort of pullback on Binance at this point. So that's why my picks at the moment, who's winning? Binance, Polkadot, Cardano, Ethereum. I'm going with Cardano and Polkadot. And if I have to choose one, then out of these charts, Cardano looks like it for now. But that could all change if it continues to trend down against its polka dot value. So right now it's a very tough battle between polka dot and Cardano. Binance has shot to the moon. I think it's over for now. It's still a fantastic uh, stock company, crypto. It's, it's amazing, right? And Ethereum is the safe bet. Ethereum is the bet against Bitcoin. If we want to take it, uh, play it safe and we don't want to lose too much of our value in case any of these drop by 80 or 90% in the coming months if we see uh, a crash in the altcoin season. Now, if you want to purchase any of these, and none of this is financial advice, but for the Aussie guys who are looking to purchase, SwiftX, you know that I talk about that a lot on the channel. SwiftX is very easy and it has all of these coins. It has Binance that we can see here. It has DOT. It has Cardano. You know that because we've bought it on the channel already. And it has Ethereum. Of course it does. So we have everything we need on SwiftX. You can also use Binance itself, the Binance Exchange. There are links to these in the description. Don't go clicking anything in the comments section from random Jason Pazinos. All the stuff's in the description down below. You got SwiftX down there, you'll get $10 of free Bitcoin. And if you use Binance, you'll get trading fee discounts using that link specifically. So this is all the stuff you need to know if you were looking at any of those coins there. You can add it to your portfolios, do your thing. We're going to keep up to date with these coins. This is my smart contract comparisons. We want to be picking a safe. Personally, my, my idea here is to pick something that's safe. That's why I've got a lot of Ethereum. And then I want to pick something that is going to give me higher returns against Ethereum as well. So it's kind of like my hedge against Ethereum. So obviously we've got Bitcoin. That's our main holdings. That's our gold. Ethereum, that's our low risk higher return and then we can pick polka dot cardano or binance and right now binance looks like it is shot to the moon we need to wait for a pullback uh, to get a better entry point to get those bigger gains and as for cardano and uh, polka dot i like both what we've seen here cardano looks good and of course polka dot something i talk about on the channel a hell of a lot because i still see massive potential in polka dot going nuts that's my intro to all four of those smart contract platforms 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, which one you're going to choose as your high reward, low risk, and which one is going to be your higher risk. Let us know in the comments down below. I'm going to stay up to date with these cryptos on the channel, which you've already seen. Binance versus Ethereum, Binance versus DOT, DOT versus Cardano, all of that stuff is on the channel. So stick around, hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon, like the video if you found some value from it. Check out the trading course down below. Link is in the description if you want to join uh, the community, 12 month memberships for the cryptocurrency trading and investors course there as well. Lastly, you can join my Instagram, link is down below. I'm doing daily Q and A's over there. So check it out, follow over there and ask your questions on my stories. That's it for the video. I'll see you guys at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.